Hello and welcome to part 9 of the Gary's Mod Lua tutorial series. So in this tutorial uh, we are going to be finishing off the last tab and that will lead us on to, uh, after that we'll be uh, changing some of the buttons and we're painting stuff to make them look, look a bit nicer. So we've got commands uh, to do today. So this one should be a, hopefully a bit shorter. So first of all we just want to go into here, uh, into our main VGUI file. So this is the commands tab, uh, this has always been here. So we want to, there's going to be, the commands tab is just going to be full of buttons which do certain commands. So we're going to just create a general kind of formula that would just allow us to add any button to the actual tab. So we're going to call it, we're going to do function equals and then commands area and then we're going to just call it like something like add button. Right, and then there's going to be two parameters in this. So when, when you use a function, what you basically do is you do like, uh, you just put the name of the function and then you do like add button and then you'll put parameters in here like that and then you put a comma between them. So what we're going to do is the, the two parameters in this are going to be in add button, they're going to be the text on the button and then the function which happens when the person clicks it. So we'll do that and then we need to end it off. Right, so inside this, so when when we basically do this, what we just want to do is just create a button. So just copy this button from up here and paste it down here. So when when we write this command, uh, this function down here, it's gonna just add a button in this general format. So we're gonna call it commands button. And then we just copy this, put it there because it's just the variable of the actual uh, button. Right, and then here's where we need to change stuff. So food back needs to be changed to commands back area. Uh, then the where it says set text, that's going to be the text of the button from this function here. Uh, margin, we'll change all this. The reason why I've not been editing any of the buttons much and they look pretty basic is because I kind of wanted to leave that to one episode. So I'll make all, the, all of them look a bit nicer. This panel is not going to look too nice, but I'll work on changing that next episode. And then the function, uh, if you were to just put func here, it would cause errors because it's just kind of running a function inside a function for no reason. So you just do commands.do click button uh, equals func. So it'll basically run that function. And now if we save that, there should be, uh, we've got a slight error. Uh, right, sorry about that guys. Anyway, we're back, just figured out the error. So what we basically put, is I believe what we put was equals. Uh, there shouldn't be an equals there, so you can just delete that. And then if we leave it as that, now if we save it, uh, it should be fine. Yeah, nothing on there yet. Right, so now we can actually get onto using this function. Uh, so what we can do is to do this, we're going to do the general command, like I said. So it's just we do command area. We can just basically copy this up here. Just do that. Commands area, add button, and then we need to yeah that should be fine and then write the text on the button so the first one I'm going to do is going to be give money to and then yeah so give money to and then we're going to put brackets looking at so it's going to basically this this is the command that gives money to the person you're looking at so what I want to do is then we put function here function and then close and open brackets and then we want to end it off and then we can just put that down a couple of lines, a uh, line. Right, and then there's something called a derma string request, which will basically make it so when it's run, like a little menu will pop up saying yes or no or something. So we could do uh, something called derma underscore string request. This base is basically a default derma element. And then the, this is basically going to be what it says on the actual string request when it pops up. So it's going to say drop money oh wait and, and yeah we're doing give money aren't we so it's going to say give money and then it's going to ask how much how uh, this will be explained a bit more in a minute and then these can just be closed because we don't want a third argument and then the function is going to be text so whatever they enter into this little menu is going to be sent is going to be called text so now we just want to end that off again, remember to close it with bracket. And then we want to make it so we can just do the general run console command up here. So we can put that there. So run console command makes so they say it and it's called 
give uh, just give and then the dot txt so it will give so it will basically whatever the player types it will give so now if we save that and we press f4 we remove we've got a button here so it says the text we wanted it to and we click it so that's the title so the third argument is the title uh, which is, no the first argument is the title which is that one and then the second argument is how much which it asks here and then if we put 10 that will that if we put 10 we're not looking at someone but if we put 10 that will be basically that and it will be there and that right so now we can just kind of copy this a couple of times and what I'm actually going to do is uh, it's really repetitive and they're kind of all very custom it would just be wasting time so I'll put this in the description because I've already explained it it's not really cheating it's just me making it simpler for you guys so I've got the this little these text so it's all the ones already made like drop money call and admin obviously you can easily create these yourself so you can just make so it adds a button the title of the button the text on the button then what it does say drop weapon so you can easily make them so now if we just save that we'll have a bunch more buttons it's just speeding it up so you already know basically the basics I don't need to just spend ages going through them it's just wasting your guys' time right so for for let's just uh, add another simpler one right so we'll do it we'll call it uh, what should we call it have I have I not properly copied that yeah we have right I'll call it uh, kill your uh, I know I'll call it suicide I probably can't spell that properly and then we'll do it string request and it will say or oh, no uh, suicide and then we'll put are you sure this can be just like if anybody's bugged and then the function will be text so whatever the enter and then we'll make it so what it does is it does if tx this is just a simple if command if txt uh, we'll put brackets because that makes it look a bit nicer if txt equals yes uh then put brackets then and then we end and then I'm gonna put an or statement here and then put if txt equals yes or or txt equals yes then so it's basically just if it has a capital or not a yes and then I've not used if statements quite a while so I might this might be wrong with it uh, then we'll do run console command and we don't need to put any more run console command and it'll literally just be kill I think so if we save that I'll probably get some errors because I've not used this in a while. So suicide, they click on it and what have I done wrong? Yeah, I think I've duplicated all of them, haven't I? Long. Right, so it should be up to call should be up to give money. Uh change your job title. No, I am gonna hope that's right. Right, so now we have suicide. Uh, so now if we click suicide if we put what about if we put T doesn't do anything if we put no it closes and if we put yes it kills you right now also if we were to put yes it kills you right so that that's good with that's just an example uh, basically if somebody's glitched can do that so this is just a simple example so we've done all of them remember I'll put the code for all the extra buttons in the description on a paste bin anyway as always thanks for watching next time we'll be getting on to painting buttons and making the panel look a bit nicer so make sure to subscribe guys and like the video uh, and join the discord anyway have a good day guys see you next time